I'm on. They wanna know what I'm on. Diamonds dancing on my neck. Hey guys, what's going on? Barry here from Epic Cycles. In today's video, we will be unboxing the all-new Cabo Mantis X electric scooter. All right, so to unbox and build this baby, we're only gonna need three tools, three very basic tools, either a pair of scissors or a box cutter to open up the box, a two millimeter uh, Allen wrench key and a five millimeter Allen wrench key. So upon opening up the box, we're gonna see our styrofoam here with some stuff hidden away in the pockets. This is actually a display cover. We got our four axle nut covers. And in case you don't have a set of Allen keys, Cabo always includes uh, multi-tool things. We've got the Cabo badge. We have our manual, as well as a separate display manual because it is a, a new display on the scooter and our charger. Let's go. And I don't think the scooter is very heavy so we can probably just lift it right out, which we can. You're not too bad. Let's get this box out of the way. Let's set her down. Some more of this bubble wrap. So, as you can see, the scooter is pretty much, I'm gonna say, 95% assembled. All we literally have to do is install the handlebar tool. We're gonna need to remove this uh, uh, stem cover. So, we're gonna, this is where we're gonna use the five millimeter Allen wrench and they all want to come to my yard ice me out and leave me alone you know i'll be popping off switching lanes swiping cars they're throwing them bags at me because obviously i am a star run up a check with me i'll make it rain i got the funds that's what i do for fun i know now we're gonna get the handlebar on Okay, right, that feels good to me. All right, so once we got the stem on, we have one more piece is the display shade cover to protect against glares of the sun. One thing about me, I'm a get my I look like a bag of money I'm on. They wanna know what I'm on. Diamonds dancing on my neck, that is the vibe I'm on. Way too lit, who gon' check? You can tell me no. Boss mode in a fit. Axle caps on. Just literally slip right on. All right, so now we got our scooter built up. You're going to want to power this baby up, but you're going to notice that there is no power and don't worry your scooter is not dead it's just a battery protection uh system that they've uh, allocated to these scooters i know they've done the same thing with the wolf king gtr where if it's idle for too long it won't power on uh, unless you get a surge of electrical uh, current to it so you just literally we need to plug in the charger literally for one second and you'll see that it'll power on instantly so let's uh let's do that to test that theory out so I got the charger plugged in here already. Here is the charging port. As you can see, they got the 
updated charging cap. So no more rubber, it closes on its own. And as well as the charging port, it's a new port system. So similar to the Wolf King GTR and the Mantis King. So let's plug this in. Now that it's plugged in, like I said, instantly it should power on. And it does. Voila. Let's see what kind of percentage. We've got 47% here. I'm just gonna unplug this for a second. I just wanted to power it on to show you guys. And now we can talk about the scooter. So the Mantis X comes in three beautiful color configurations, all available in stock at Epic Cycles. We got the black and blue, then there's the Midnight Stealth Black, and the black and red. These are the three colors of the Mantis X. And now I'd just like to share with you guys a quick uh, promo video put together by Cabo themselves on the Mantis X scooter. It's gonna give you a nice quick little synopsis of what this scooter is all about. And then we'll get back to the video and I will give you a more detailed overview, step-by-step uh, -step highlighting every single feature here. So without further ado, enjoy the show. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that quick little video presentation uh, presented by Cabo on the Mantis X. Really cool, awesome scooter design. Now I'm gonna give you a quick overview of this scooter. Um, I just like to mention that this is the fourth, fourth generation, uh, fourth major generation of the Mantis line. We actually have the original Mantises here behind us. This is the original Mantis 10 Plus. So probably the closest to the Mantis X, but it adopted many uh, features from the Pro and as well as the Mantis King, and as well of a lot of new features, which we're gonna go over. So this is the Mantis Pro and the Mantis King. You can see the Mantis X has the same, same latch, same charging port, and as well as the same uh, suspension, more or less, that you know some of these previous scooters are missing and a, of course, all new uh, Wicked display. So let's, uh, let's take a look here. So first off, uh, let's take a look at this awesome display. It's a huge, uh, huge display, with tons of real estate. So to power it on, it starts up, but it has an additional security feature. We got the NFC and these are the NFC keys. So to actually power into the display, you'll need to tap your NFC on it simply and it's ready to go we have uh, uh now i'd just like to mention that this is the mantis x plus however epic cycles we've upgraded this one we made our own modifications so we're going to go ahead and call it the mantis x plus pro epic edition what we've done is we've upgraded the standard mantis x plus which is their highest edition with hi full hydraulic disc brakes otherwise they come with the mechanical brakes so we have full hydraulic powerful brake system we also uh upgraded typically they'll come with dual 500 watt motors well our edition comes with dual 800 watt motors so a lot more power and to make that happen we also had to actually upgrade the controllers which typically come with a 20 amp controller well this one has a 25 amp controller inside of it so let's just uh take a look at all the other features as you can see new feature we have uh, turn signal lights 
in the front. You got the front headlight. Here's the right or left. And as well, you got the signal lights in the rear. And while we're already here at the rear, let's talk about this awesome thing. The rear suspension, the 15 levels of different dampening so you can stiffen or loosen your ride to your liking. I really like this uh, fender cover. It's a full, full fender cover. It covers the whole tire, so it's gonna really protect you against all that dirt and mud uh, flying up on your back. Moreover, it has a, a really sleek uh, design with that carbon, carbon fiber detail that looks really, really sharp. Um, beautiful job. I like that a lot. Of course, we talked about the 800 watt motors and the rear full hydraulic disc brakes. And they're sitting on 10 inch by three inch tires. So that's another upgrade, similar tire as we have on the Mantis King. They're kind of a hybrid tire, off-road and street mix. So you can do a little bit of both. We also have uh, front suspension as well with the dampening control. And then of course the new upgraded uh, folding design. So it's a quick, basically three second fold. There you go. Very easy to operate, super secure. Close her up. We have a new uh, thumb throttle over here. Ergonomic handles, the deck, huge deck, lots of uh, real estate. They've uh, expanded that slightly as well. And a nice, uh, nice uh, kick plate here to put your rest of your foot on when you're really trying to carve. Um, we've got a 18 amp hour battery. So uh, all in all, you should be able to get around 70 kilometers in range at a low setting. But when you're really ripping it, I would say you could expect anywhere from 40, maybe 40 to 50 tops um, as well. Uh, speeds, we're gonna get up to speeds of about 50 kilometers an hour on the scooter. All right, so another nice and very neat feature that uh, this new display uh, offers is actually a USB charging port. It's a five volt, two amp charging port. And I actually had the chance to test it out with uh, charging my phone. And to my surprise, uh, it actually charged it very fast. So I would actually call it like a fast charger, where in the past, a lot of these charging ports, all they really do is hold the charge on your phone, not necessarily increase the percentage, but this one actually increased it rather quickly, uh, just as uh, I'm used to with the fast charger. So very good, very good uh, USB charging port there. Also to mention the LED lights, they're beautifully designed as well. And actually they have a, they seem to have a, a cover over them. So they're well, very well protected. Very nice color with 360 degrees of visibility. Um, there is an app where you can actually change the hue color of the lights if you'd like to do that. It's available. Um, the wheels, the motor wheels, they are actually separable. So easy to, easy to change the tires, uh, similar to the Mantis King GT. So overall, it's, uh, it's like, a, it's, I'd say it's a mix of the original Mantis 10 Plus uh, with some of the components of the Mantis Pro and as well as the Mantis King GT. It's kind of like everything, all the best parts of it coming together and with a lot of new features such as, you know, these really cool signal lights, really new cool deck design and this awesome, awesome, awesome display with the NFC. Really nice. And you know what? I won't do it in this video, but I will, my next video, I will go through all the settings of the display as well. I just wanted to give you uh, a quick overview of the new Mantis X Plus Epic Pro Edition scooter, now available online at epiccycles.ca, um, or come visit one of our stores or dealers across the country. They are available now and ready to rock and roll. This is gonna be surely a hit this uh, this season for sure and we're uh, we got them available so uh, for more information check the description below we'll leave uh, some links and product links to our website for this product and as well as uh, some more information and specs if uh, 
this video was helpful for you, uh, you know, don't forget to give us a, a like, thumbs up, and subscribe for more awesome content. That we'll be doing a lot more, uh, more reviews. Like I said, we'll do the display. We're gonna do a ride. I'm gonna do a ride review soon. I'll take it out in the city and show you guys that. So yeah, stay tuned. Uh, otherwise, guys, any questions? Just comment below. And we wish you an epic day or night. Peace.